switching over to your coaching career um you've coached tamil nadu uh, you worked with bengal as well and you know you've had uh, ipl stints uh, and now you're the coach of the indian women's team so i was just wondering the dynamics of each of these roles is very very different um and i'm sure there's a, a different challenge for each of these uh, so could you share a little bit about each of these experiences what you thought was challenging uh you know working with tamil nadu versus working in the ipl versus working for the women's team if you if you're with the state side uh, you are almost uh, spending uh, two, two thirds of the year spending a team with uh, the team for about eight months and you're also engaged in uh, all the formats that the of uh, the state side with different is uh, the whole format also the four day version and it's also a long season it's not that easy because uh, they have to sustain their intensity for a longer period of time and they also have to be really adaptable uh, the thing is that we want to try and keep them interested uh, so that they perform at their best because uh, any you does get that so it's not easy to keep training uh, or practicing for about Eight ten months uh, in a year, especially when you are uh, not playing for the country. It's not that easy because uh, uh, they know that they are going to be playing only for the first two three years. Younger guys might probably you know find that as a motivating factor because they are going to perform and want to play for the state side. Uh, sorry, for the national side. So that gives them the impetus and that motivates them. But you also have some characters who know for sure that they will not be able and yet they will be useful because of their experience, because of the past, past performances uh, uh, in first class cricket. They have seen them across the pitches from the Indian team, so you have a mix of people. So that poses uh, a different uh, sets of challenges. Uh, if you're talking about the IPL, you're only talking about uh, ensuring that uh, uh, you kind of temper the uh, emotional sort of fluctuation because uh, things change in the team format and uh, you will see kind of uh, seesaw that happens in an IPL game. Uh, by the time you play things change, you take uh, things for granted or the new thing, you know, so you sort of pan out, you suddenly see over the next three ten days it's totally you know, changed. Completion of the game is changed. At least ten percent or something, but that's how it goes. So, so there's a lot of uh, emotional uh, strength that happens during that. Um, and also the fact is that you don't really work too much with players because all of uh, the players under some of the stars will perhaps have best ten days before the game, and uh, from then on it's a case of uh, them doing whatever they need doing well enough before our end. All of these guys would have been playing for uh, their own state sides or for their national sides and for the uh, sides that they are you know, so that way. They would be in touch with the game, they would know what has helped them succeed in the preceding months. So they would bank on those skills to help them succeed in that in the last week. So we need to try and keep them going, keep them motivated. Um, the other role that I did at the NSA was totally different in the sense that it was more of you being uh, involved in an academy setup, uh, there you focus on uh, ensuring uh, that the healthy youngsters or the players or all the elite teams uh, work on their skills, whether it's the technical skills or whether it's the mental skills or whatever it is that they feel to work on uh, to help them. Of course, I did uh, go with the art media and the insights when they were uh, around that was not away from Sandy. Sides. I think uh, both sides were uh, engaged at the same time. They could now add to their common goals. So that also helped in the sense that not having to spend enough time working with them in the next day. You also had a fair idea as to what uh, the players were capable of doing, where they needed to go, and what they needed to uh, apply in uh, bad situations that they could go to the next day. So uh, that was. 
was a good mix because uh, it's half uh, academic kind of uh, uh, work that you do, and the other half was to handle a team as well, which comprises players who've been a part of the academy. So it was a very interesting kind of uh, mix. And of course, um, maybe who wants to get this completely different, it's a piece of that. Much, uh, but yet, uh, from what was written, I was uh, focusing. I had the impression that maybe it's something to do with the students. So I thought maybe perhaps I could get more uh, people. This is not being, uh, uh, let's say, immodest or the first is the handling of uh, there is uh, a site that is uh, really in need of some kind of time. So that happened. Uh, uh, I am pleased to see the way they focused uh, on it in uh, every respect. And uh, I am absolutely certain that uh, uh, the girls will become very popular as they go along in the next few years. And I'm also sure that uh, there will be an IPL for them to pledge to. Kind of loss that, is loss. that is going to create a massive explosion. You will see a lot of girls taking up to get uh, things to uh, skyrocket, uh, like it happened uh, with the boys as well. When I could start in 2008, I would really believe this the, the parents would uh, drag the boys to coaching and coaching parents and plead with the coaches there and the same way to somehow make this boy cultivate I think. That's what we want to do, and that's what we uh, sort of look forward to him doing later on in life. So that created a kind of frenzy that is not really seen because prior to that, it was all about players being indifferent. Right? Now, the parents of the players being indifferent. Oh, I got a hundred, okay, well done. Okay, it's fine. The, the parents are not really keen on that. But after the life will happen. They enter paradigm exchange, they enter landscape change.